Okay, this one is on the GUA furnace, and this is how we're going to adjust the manifold pressure using the uh, 36E03 White Rogers gas valve. Uh, this one's a little different in the way the uh, manifold pressure is adjusted, and uh, I'll show you how we do it. Okay, here's the output of the valve. The tap's right here. It's fairly standard. Okay, first thing is shut down the furnace, turn off the gas cock, uh, and uh, we'll hook our uh, tap onto there so we can get a manifold pressure. The This is fairly standard stuff. Where the adjustment is on this one's a little different. Okay, you can see we've got it hooked up there uh, with our tap, and there's the the meter. I'm going to zero this thing out. Okay, we're zeroed out. Okay, we've got the uh, manometer on it. I'm going to start up the four strap blower. Now that's already put one tenth of an inch water column on this thing. The reason is I pressurized the combustion chamber. Let's remember, this is a positive pressure combustion chamber, and I'll talk more about this a little later. Uh, but you see we're already reading one tenth. Now manifold pressure on this is supposed to be 3.5. So when this thing fires up, we'll take a look at it and see what it comes up to. Okay, you see we're up to pressure, we're running just a skosh over 3.5. Now something I wanted to note, note this little fitting right here. Uh, if I get out a little bit you can see it goes down, and it's going down the combustion chamber down there. Now I've got the combustion chamber so you can see through it. I don't have the cover on it. I do have the a clear plastic sheet over it so we can see what's going on. But this has to this there has to be something over this thing or it won't work right. When we uh, get manifold pressure on this thing, we have to reference the combustion chamber because that's where the gas is going. So the regulator has to have an ambient pressure that is the same as the combustion chamber. Now I'm going to take that off and so that it references outside air while this thing is running and you can see the difference. Showing 3.4. Put this thing back in. Okay, you can see the difference. 3.58. So we have that one tenth of an inch water column. If we did not reference the combustion chamber, we'd be a tenth of an inch water column off. Now that's not a huge amount, but on some of these it can be pretty high. So that uh, tap has to be in the combustion chamber. Okay, when we go to adjust manifold pressure on this thing, uh, it's a little different than some other valves. If you look right there above that brass, 
you'll see a uh, cap. Now we move that cap and the adjustments underneath. Okay, there it is with the cover off. Kind of see it right there. Now I'm going to look over in the mirror and we'll see if we can see what's inside. Okay, if you look really close, you can see inside there, there's a little Allen head inside there. And when you uh, uh, adjust it, it adjusts like any other uh, regulator, clockwise increases pressure, counterclockwise decreases pressure. Uh, so that's the, uh, the White Rogers valve on the GUA model Snyder General furnace. And one last thing, make sure you put the cap on this thing and be sure you put the plug back in where you tapped on to the, uh, the manifold pressure or else you'll have a big fire.